suppose that we have two services order service and catalog service and the order service calls the catalog service for catalogs but when the catalog service fails due to some internal failure the corresponding api of order service will also fail in order to avoid such situations we use a circuit breaker circuit breaker sends a predefined response back in case there is a failure at the catalog service for more detailed video on circuit breaker do watch the link at the top of the screen now for implementing circuit breaker you can check out the code from my github repository with the project name circuit breaker example you just need to copy the path and you can use the git clone command with the path to check out the code once you have checked out the code from your code editor uh, here we are using intellij you just need to locate the place where you have checked out the code and it will open as a maven project in your code editor and it's intellij in our case so you can see that we have used some standard spring dependencies along with the h2 database uh, mem uh, in memory database dependencies and in the catalog service no further dependencies are required and you can also see that we are using java version 11 and in the order service uh, since we will be using circuit breaker here we have used the resilience 4j dependency in the order service only so the code for catalog service is very simple you can see that we have one controller we have one model to wrap our rows into the java class and we have a repository to query the database and we have a data to sql file which inserts some rows in the in memory database at the time of startup and in both the services we have a in memory database which is you know brought by this dependency which is the h2 database this brings in a in memory sql database so both catalog service and order service have this dependency now let's have a look at the order service so as already explained we have added the resilience 4j dependency in the form of order service only because this is where we actually need the circuit breaker functionality so let me walk you through the code we have a config file where we have custom where we have created our circuit um, where we have created a rest template for making calls to catalog service from order service so we have also created a customizer circuit breaker factory object so basically it is a customizer of type resilience 4j circuit breaker factory so for configuring we create a time limiter config which in which we configure the timeout durations for which uh, after after you know like for example we have four seconds after four seconds we will allow the request to time out and then we have some circuit breaker configs for example failure rate uh, which we have set as 50 percent if more than 50 percent calls fail we will uh, set the circuit breaker state as open and uh, and then we have set the wait duration in open state which means after thousand seconds it will recheck it will close the circuit breaker and check whether calls are passing or not and again if 50 percent calls fail it will again move it to open state and there is another config sliding window size so the sliding window size is basically the size of sliding window which is used to record the outcome of calls when the circuit breaker is closed so after creating this time limiter config and circuit breaker config we pass these configs to the factory and we create a customizer circuit breaker object so apart from this we have a controller uh, which which calls the order service and you know uh, we have order service in the uh, which calls the order service so we have a controller which calls the order service and if we see the order service there are two types of implementations one without using circuit breaker and one with using circuit breaker so there are some configuration properties as well for example the address of the catalog service its host name its port 
and the circuit breaker which we configured earlier in the config is auto wired here and similarly the rest template you can see we we created a rest template and we created a customized circuit breaker so both these properties are injected here uh, if you want to understand what is dependency injection there is a spring video in my channel i will share the link as well you can watch it so basically the dependencies are injected into this class and and then there are two methods the first method calls the catalog service directly and we will see that if we switch off the catalog service this 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 and and we call this method it will start to fail because the catalog service is not active and the second method also calls the catalog service but for calling the catalog service it uses the circuit breaker so see here we are doing rest template and then we are passing the url directly and calling but what we are doing here is we are using the rest template but we are making this call inside the circuit breaker dot run method so circuit breaker will wrap the circuit breaking functionality around the rest call so let's now test this application so for testing the application let's launch the catalog service we hit the run button and the service uh, initializes and you can see it is initializing on port 8081 and we have received the log that catalog application has started now let's also start the order order service application or order service so we uh, run the main method of this project and you can see that at port 8082 the order service application has also started so let's now test our code so we are calling the catalog service directly on port 8081 with the catalog method so when we call you can see the call comes to the catalog controller and uh, the records which are saved in the database with this data.sql file will be fetched by the repository using the find all method and it will return those products to us so if we if we continue the breakpoint you can see that we called the catalog service directly on port 8081 and it returned us the product now for testing circuit breaker we will go via the order service so the order service is running at port 8082 and the method name is catalogs and if we check the catalogs api you can see that it's calling fetch catalog service method of the order service in this service method if we go inside we can see that we are making a rest call but we are not using circuit breaker okay so let's call this method and we call this you can see we have the breakpoints and it is inside this fetch catalog service method and it will make a rest call without using service break circuit breaker so the call is successful now and it, it it the call has gone to the catalog controller of the catalog service so we call order service from the order controller we went to order service impl and then via rest call we went to the catalog controller and then you know the it's it's again fetching the records from the database and you can see that it is fetching the records now in order to demonstrate circuit breaker functionality i will switch off the catalogs service and see what happens so i am switching off the catalog service and now when i call the order service catalogs api which will make a rest call to the catalog controller let's see what happens so order so the request has come to the order controller it went to the uh, catalog uh, it went to the order service impl and now it will try to make a rest call so if i continue i can you can see i receive a connect exception because the catalog service is down so we can see it in postman as well 
that there is no response now because the catalog service is actually down so in such situations what should be done is instead of using this fetch catalog service or making a rest call directly we have a separate implementation where we have fetch catalog service circuit breaker implementation where we are wrapping this rest call in a circuit breaker so what it will do is if if the call service is failing in that case it will call this get default catalog list which is a, a implementation in the order service itself and it will give us a default catalog instead of you know simply erroring out or giving no response so let's change change order controller and instead of fetch for catalog service let's call the other method which has the circuit breaker call as well so fetch catalog service circuit breaker will call this method and as already explained we have the circuit breaker functionality inside it so we need to restart the order service so that it may pick up these changes so we are restarting the order service and uh, the catalog service is still not started so now if we call the controller and we skip the breakpoint the breakpoint will come to this default catalog list method because the circuit breaker service is down and you can see that we receive a default catalog which is already baked into the order service instead of calling the catalog service because it is down at this time and now if we start the catalog service it takes thousand seconds to retry and for this thousand seconds uh, generally the circuit breaker is open so if in this duration we call it the, again the request has been received on the default catalog list method because uh, right now thousand seconds might not have been passed so we receive the default product let's retry hoping that thousand seconds have been passed now so now if we call the order service the request goes to the order service and it calls the catalog service using the circuit breaker and since it is up now we receive the actual catalogs this time so when when the catalog service was down the circuit breaker used the default baked in catalogs uh, to send us the response and when when the circuit breaker is closed state which means if the catalog service is up circuit breaker will go into closed state after a while and which is in our case thousand seconds and then you know it will call the actual service and get us the actual response so friends this is our demonstration of the resilience for api or um, friends this is our demonstration of the Re resilience 4j library which you can use to wrap your calls in a circuit breaker and provide default methods in case those calls fail so uh, friends thank you for watching this video do check out this code from the github repository and test it yourself it will help you get a feel of how circuit breaker works and thanks a lot for watching